Hi everyone, this is me Bilal here from microcontrollerslab.com. I hope you are fine and doing well. And uh, today I'm going to talk about automatic power source selection between two sources. And in this project, we are using two sources. One is, uh, for example, a grid or grid main power supply and other one is uh, output of solar inverter and uh, what we are doing in this project uh, for example we want to select uh, either a grid power supply to overload or uh, this is overload and our other solar uh, solar power to overload and the title of this project is automatic power selection at automatic power source selection uh, using adreno and uh, we are using this LCD to display voltages of both uh, grid uh, and uh, voltage of solar inverter. So, what this project will do, for example, when solar power, when uh, power from grid is available, uh, so uh, and. Uh, power from both uh, grid and solar is available and we want to provide power through this grid so when both the sources are available we will be feeding uh, to this load through this grid and when power is uh, when grid, grid power is not available uh, we want to uh, feed this load from solar inverter when both the sources are, are available uh, so we want to uh, uh, feed load from grid so there are there are basically four options available in this project when both the sources are available when grid and uh, solar both are available we want to feed the load from uh, grid when uh, when only a uh, grid is available uh, and uh, uh, when solar is available and grid is not available we want to feed the load from the solar when uh, gr uh, when grid is available solar is not available we will feed it definitely from our uh, grid when both the sources are not available Available and uh, will not be able to feed the load. So it is basically uh, automatic power uh, switching circuit. So let's run the simulation and check it. Uh, and let me uh, introduce you more about the circuit. Uh, this is uh, Arduino, and we are measuring AC uh, voltages of, of uh, grid and solar with the help of uh, Arduino. And in this circuit diagram, uh, as you can see, uh, we are using this step of step down transformer, uh, which basically step down the voltage from 120 volt or 220 volt AC to uh, uh, 6 volt AC and after that we are just using this rectifier because Arduino cannot measure negative voltage negative cycle uh, cycle of voltages uh, so but but uh, this rectifier will do this rectifier will convert the both uh, both cycles to positive cycles and uh, in AC wave we have a negative cycle so in the out here we will be getting both cycle as a positive cycles and after that we are using this uh, voltage divider circuit because microcontroller or Arduino can measure only voltage uh, uh, less than 5 volt and we are what uh, we will be getting here voltage more than 5 volt for example if the output of the transformer is 6 volt AC so it's mean its peak will be about 8.5 volt so here we will be getting uh, uh, pulses uh, positive uh, cycle pulses of uh, peak 8.5 volt but microcontroller cannot detect that peak voltage because it is higher than 5 volt so what we are doing here we are using this voltage divider st uh, to step down the voltage further and it will uh, step down the voltage by 1 by 4 so uh, if we divide 8.5 by uh, 4 so we will definitely getting voltage less than 5 so uh, here is an ADC and it is ADC1 it is connected with ADC uh, channel number 1 of Arduino and we are measuring voltages uh, through algorithm written in Arduino and similarly uh, uh, similar circuit is used for solar inverter as well because the output of both solar inverter and grid will be same either it will be 120 volt or 220 volt so uh, we are also using LCD to display the values of uh, voltage of both grid and solar and here we are using two relays and uh, when uh, this uh, relay 2 is for uh, for grid and relay 1 is for uh, our solar inverter output so let's run the simulation and see how it works ATS automatic transfer switch as you can see voltage is 120 volt and so the voltages of both sources are available when the voltages of from both sources are available as you can see only this relay is on when this relay is on and this relay has a connection with grid 
and we are feeding this load from grid for example if power supply it, it when our grid becomes uh, off our uh, supply from grid is not available this relay will turn off and this relay will turn on let me uh, turn off the as you can see now relay uh, one is on and relay two is off and we are feeding the load from the solar okay when both the sources are available we are feeding load from uh, we are feeding load from uh, grid only when uh, grid is not available we are feeding load from solar if both the sources are not available let me check, let me show you uh, as you can see both the sources are not available and both the relays are off because uh, we cannot feed the load and if uh, if only uh, grid is available it should definitely feed the load from uh, from power, uh, from our uh, main power supply that is grid. So this is the project about uh, automatic power uh, power source selection using Arduino, and uh, it can be very useful if you want to design your uh, your automatic transfer switch. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any issue, just let me know.